Young Thug was like real, real plea deal, Jack. So he got a real plea deal. And you know, I want to address this real quick, real fast. Two seconds. I won't be long. Um, it's some niggas in my comments that was saying he didn't beat a Rico, bro. Do you know how hard it is to beat a fucking Rico and not get any jail time? Especially when it's this over a bunch. See, the thing that happened here and the reason that he was able to beat it, how he beat it, at the end of the day, I don't know what she calling Cap on. She know I ain't. And should I said Cap. <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know what he fucking did but it was a state rico this wasn't even a federal rico a federal rico we we talking some different shit now the feds come they had about a 90 percent 98 percent conviction rate so they come they know you it's just some right like the the it won't be sloppy the the court processing won't be sloppy it, it just it will go smoothly like this is the evidence judge here we ain't about to beat around the bush with this one. No, he is a bad person. <laughs> That's how the feds are coming. But the state, they didn't really have much but other than personal vendettas against them, unfortunately. And regardless of it, bro, he pleaded no, no low, no contest to two RICO charges and got probation. Two charges is, that are supposed to at least give him 10 years in life. He pleaded no contest. Not guilty. Not not guilty. There's no contest. Like, if that ain't finding a way to get out of the situation without even telling on yourself. Like, Thug found a way to not even tell on himself. Man, brilliant. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. He found a way to not even tell on himself and still get probation, bro. He beat it. Most niggas get hit with racketeering, gang violence, gang leader charges. Usually the the evidence is just too overwhelming and they get a lot of time in jail. They let him go. Pleaded no contest. He pleaded guilty to the shit that was around him in his house. And, and you know, they still gave him time even though he pleaded no contest. They still gave him time served and whatever. But he's home. If that's not beating the Rico, I don't know what is. <laughs> like, I really know. I really know. How else are you supposed to beat a Rico? Nobody in history has ever gotten probation for a Rico charge. We understand that, right? <laughs> All right. Usually that, when if that comes down on a nigga, they get some time. And he spent some time in jail. But he's getting out during the trial? Come on. You got to give him some credit, bro. Gotta give him some credit. But then he also said, Wham. If you don't know who Wham is, Wham is a little baby. He said, Wham. Wham. Let's drop one on these rats, Peter. <laughs> Bro, that's not funny, man. He still talked the same way on Twitter. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? What does this mean? Because, see, the narrative was after he got out, and I admit, I said it in my video or in, in the reaction to live I did, whatever. I was like, him, him saying he still wants to work with Gunner is rather interesting. That does play into the, oh, he told Gunner to snitch and so he can get out and still make the label, do what the label got to do. And he can be in jail and deal with the, the, the trial and whatnot, which... You know, <laughs> what a deal to make. <laughs> what a fucking deal to make. But at the end of the day, it's like, wait a minute, hold up. Now, I could understand that if he's talking about Woody, if he's talking about YSL Woody, all right, that makes sense. But come on. Little Baby wasn't talking about YSL Woody when he basically in a sense, shadow banned Gunner from ever working with him again because of what he did. Yes, ma'am, and on the stand. <laughs> so he, if he's mentioning Baby here, talking about rats, I don't think we're, we're talking about Woody here. I think we're talking about Gunner. And the fact that Thug did what I asked him to do, 
Because I asked him. I was like, look, Doug, you got to make it clear. It's either he told or he didn't. You need to find a way to make it clear. Like, just find a, a little way, like a subtle way. You ain't even got to say it really because then it'll look weird to at least the government. But you can, you can find a subtle way to go, hey, Gunner did what he was supposed to do. And I thought him saying what he said in court was leading to that. I'm like, oh, so he's he's going to still work with this nigga. But this, this tweet right here? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe saying yes, ma'am, in court. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe saying yes, ma'am, in court is what exactly we thought it was. Ren, he told. Now I get it. I'm not in the streets. But guess what? If I ever was in the streets, I understand street code. And street code says I should never bend, I should never break, and I should never fucking fold. I signed the contract. I should understand what come fucking with it. <laughs> so at that moment, yeah, look, I'm holding it down. Fuck it. I signed up for it. It's the life I live. It is what it is at that point. But I am a civilian, my nigga. <laughs> I am civilian. No gang ties. No street ties. Just a nigga in his room <laughs> making content. So I'm going to tell you straight up what this nigga in this room going to do. <laughs> and this nigga in this room, if he get faced with some time for some bullshit, you did? He know it? Yes, ma'am. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, look. <laughs> yes, ma'am, on my way out that fucking courtroom, buddy. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yeah ma'am. But if I signed up for that life, if I signed up for the slime life, the it's that slime shit, YSL shit. If I signed up for it, I need to hold it down. Period. Point blank. End of discussion. And Gunna, unfortunately, did not hold it down. Now, Gunna makes some okay music. I didn't like the last album he put out. But the album after he told, that was a good album. But the last album he put out, I think he put it out this year. It was, ah, yeah, mid. It wasn't a bad at Uzi album, but it was mid. But I do feel like this is Young Thug making it clear. Hey, y'all. You might not want to fuck with that nigga. I'm just saying. Because me and Wham, we about to go make some tracks dissing him. Now, Flacco made an interesting um, post. And I think he put the video in it, so I'll just go to him. Oh, there you go, right there, right there. There you go, Flacco, right there. He said, Young Thug's first day out song gets leaked, and he's already violating his probation stipulations. Now, wow. I might be on the internet. I might just be giving opinions, commentating, and criticizing, falling under fair use as much as fucking possible. <laughs> Ain't snitching like Flacco. This shit hard though. Wait a minute. Brian Steele, that's my lawyer, is fucking. Right. That nigga thug was in jail cooking. This nigga thug went to jail and became a better lyricist. I am fucking in awe. He can't tell he a legend. He just beat the fucking out of Thug's mouth his fucking self. That's to all you niggas in my comments saying he didn't beat the Rico. Even Thug believe he beat the fucking Rico. Shut the fuck up. What? Now this hard. They said it was AI? Come on, no, no, most speaks. Now, okay, most speaks, most speaks. Come on. All right, talk to me, bro. Talk to me, talk to me real quick, real quick, most speaks. So, we not heard Young Thug rap. Come on now, y'all. Come on, King Moral Peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all done heard, bro, ain't nobody in the booth rapping like that. <laughs> like, y'all know how thug it. Bro, y'all know, y'all know thugs flow, bro. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't even believe anybody can imitate how thug raps. 
I'm not even saying he's that great of a rapper. Trust me. I have a history with my friends of arguing this nigga is not that good of a rapper. I'm just shocked he's rapping like this. Now, okay, some nigga went in there and copied his flow and made a song. But I don't think it was this nigga. Who did it then? Who, who's the A I created? See, that'd be my thing. That'd be my thing, right? Keen World Peace, most peace. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, I'm not saying y'all wrong. I'm not saying it's not AI. I don't know. Look, you. we can say it's AI now because he is kind of talking spicy. I beat the Rico. Shout out my lawyer, Brian Steele. He talking spicy. Dude, this could violate his probation. <laughs> this, could, this could violate his probation for sure. So I can understand why it's being spreaded that this is a Rico. But, oh, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. <laughs> this sounds just like Thug. This don't sound like no AI. Because <laughs> And then my thing is, look, even with the Drake, there was, remember during the beef, during the rap beef, everything, it was this Drake snippet that it leaked. Let me see if I could find it. Uh, Whitney. Yeah, I remember this. Drake, Whitney. Let me see. Whitney. Leak. Y'all remember this. Remember this? Your soul earnings and profits come from that wing stop. I'll get your Joe Blows button up and your cool time. Your Joe Blows button up. Look, all I'm saying is, if this is AI, whoever is rapping AI right now, he need to be in the industry. They need to get this nigga like Thug need to hit this nigga up. Drake needed to hit this nigga up. <laughs> he would he would have definitely helped with this rap beef. We dead ass right now. That's all I'm saying. Uh, all I'm saying is, too, these AI niggas ain't slick, y'all. Y'all know how these AI niggas do. They will literally post the whole fucking song. <laughs> these AI niggas go post the whole song. What was that AI, what was the AI song that I used to listen to, bro, Drake? Talk to me nice. Right here. Bro, they're going to post. The, these AI niggas are going to. They're going to post the whole three minutes. They're going to post the whole song. It's going to be in full version. They're not going to leak no shit. They're not going to leak no shit. Like, they're not going to leak it from the studio. What the fuck is. Who wants to hear bootleg AI? They're gonna do this. This is what they're gonna do. Right here. This is AI. This is some of the hardest Drake AI I've ever heard. I'm gonna ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> yeah. Look, Drake should have took this song. I gotta put some baguettes in my eyes. She's trying to fuck out the end of the night. Let alone with me on here. That was saying. These niggas in here floating. They making these. They, they, they coming off with these hooks and shit. These AI niggas ain't about to just give you 30 seconds of it. They gonna put the whole thing out. What the fuck are we doing, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. AI is wild. And they're figuring. Look, it's crazy. It's evolving. But also... Also, King World Peace, listen to me. Hear me out. In order, I'm still, from what I know about AI and recording AI tracks and records and shit, using other people's voices, you still have to lay it down. Like, you still have to go in the studio, rap what you want the AI to say and whatever flow you want them to say it. They will mix it up, change the voice, do everything they need to do to it so it sounds like the fucker. That's the, like... That's where I think AI still is. Now, if AI is just making songs, Thug just got out of jail, <laughs> let me go make some fire? Bro, we're in trouble. This was hard. I was like, AI went crazy. I got a couple of demons I fight. Making me crazy, I'm back on the site. All of my diamonds, they black or they white. She wanna know me. I was like, Drake need to steal this song immediately. I can't afford to have that in my life. Locking you out and I'm back on my flight. Keeping it P, I'm pushing this pipe. D12 a demon, I'm running these lights. I can't let it play. It's AI, fuck it, let it play. Swiping this car, don't ask for the price. Texting a red, she say I'm up tight. I got a check, but I'm earning my stripes. Cheating no pussy like that shit advice. Baby, you know I'm not good at advice Why would I go if I don't get advice? Taking these chances, rolling the dice Thought it from nothing, I'm hitting the heights Why because what I be spent on these bikes Peed a few things inside of my Sprite Bet I'll sleep, you want my advice Thought I could trust you with my life Can't even trust you in a night If you talk to me, baby, can talk to me nice You talk to me, This is definitely vintage Drake, King Talk to me, baby, can talk to me Talk to me, baby, can talk to me nice 
Get tired of me, baby. 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 Me, Hell yeah, bro. I was like, bro, if I was Drake, I would have heard this. And I'd immediately, immediately hit up whoever made it. Like, I'm taking it. Take it down. <laughs> How much you want? <laughs> this is mine now. <laughs> like, this song is too hard. <laughs> it's too hard. Give it to me. <laughs> like, fuck out of here. That's all you do is buy shit. That's all you do is buy songs. This one he should have bought. At this point. Fuck it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. I'd have been like, oh, cool. Oh, so that was an actual Drake song. That's all he had to say. Like, nah, that was me. They just had it. They had, they had leaked it, made it seem like it was AI. Nah, I actually. All he had to do, make an excuse. I wouldn't give a fuck. I was like, this shit hard. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. AI, AI, better rapper than Drake is right now. It is sad. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I look. I can't believe this is AI. Yeah, I, know, so I just can't, bro. Day, I, this is AI? Came out of court with my middle fingers up, up nigga. Bro, bro, that sounds like Ugger. All right, internet. Y'all want to say it's AI? It's AI. Y'all want to say it? They they in the comments. Look, y'all want to say it's AI? It's AI. Cool. Whatever. Whatever. Cool. I'd be saying it's AI too. Talking about the shit he talking about in the song. <laughs> I'd be saying it's AI too. Yeah, that's AI. Cause it's not fucking AI. That is thug, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He rapping his ass off for sure. Look, take the credit. Why get? Why I can give it? Please. <laughs> 